Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna to be part one of a two-part haul. Today's haul is featuring items from Pretty Little Thing, ASOS, and an Australian retailer or website called Mishka. So I'm gonna breeze through this because it's super hot and I have a lot of stuff. As always, everything I mention will be linked in the description box below. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Naomi Boyer. Please don't forget before you leave, hit the red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on videos like this one. Follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer. You can get daily outfit inspirations on there and let's get to the video. Alright, so I have been selling a bunch of my stuff on Poshmark, so I feel like I emptied out my closet a lot, I donated a bunch of stuff, and so I need to refill it with a bunch of new stuff. And so to start off, I am going to show you guys some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. They are a UK retailer if you're new to them and never heard of them or never placed an order. Just wanted to give you a quick lowdown, so everything on their website I size up because I do find that they run a little bit smaller. Um, so the first item, this is a dress. This one doesn't come in like a number size they just come in small medium large so I got a small size it is this cream colored knit dress this is what the straps look like brown buttons all throughout the middle and it is a mini dress that is what the edge of the dress looks like super basic but also super like fresh and beachy and classic and still summery you can throw a long cardigan over it or wear it with like a denim jacket looks great with a hat um, I posted myself wearing this on my Instagram, so go on there to see how I accessorized it, but I love this dress so much. Next item is a little crop top. I've been noticing that I am lacking a lot of black in my closet. If you've followed me for a while, you know I love white, um, but black really does go with a lot as well. So I got this little crop top from there as well, and I really liked how the sleeves has this tie ribbon. And it's just really simple like that. This one I got in a size two. Next item are a pair of drawstring jogger pants. Um, I have been seeing the models on their site pair these pants with a lot of items. So just a little shopping tip or online shopping tip. If you see a basic item that a model seems to be wearing a lot on their site, it's probably a good investment because you know that the item will go with a lot of other items in your closet probably. So that's the case with these pants. They are a jogger pant, like a sand beige color, really neutral, so it's gonna go with everything. This one fit me perfectly, it hit me around my ankles. This one I got in a size zero. Nice and stretchy drawstring waist as well. All right, next is a top that pairs really nicely with those drawstring pants I just showed you. It's another knit top. It's semi-cropped, same buttons that go down throughout the middle, just like the first dress I showed you guys. This one I got in a size small, and it's like a khaki or an olive color. All right, next is an off-the-shoulder top in white. Looks just like this. Um, kind of ruched at the sweetheart neckline. What I liked about it was that the sleeve is kind of separate from the top, so it's kind of like you're just wearing tube top with attached sleeves, so comfortable, easy to wear. It's not gonna fall. The back has button or a zipper closure, just like that. This one I got in a size two. Next white off the shoulder top that I got. Sorry if a lot of these items are cropped. I'm not sure what got into me, um, but it just looks like this. Um, I really like this one because of the fact that you could still wear a bra because it does have that extra middle flap right here that can cover the lace up part so that your bra won't show. So that's always a plus. It ruches again at the boob and then it is a long sleeve. This one I got in a size two and the back just looks like that. This one looks really cute with like blue jeans or leather pants or things like that, so. All right, this next top, um, it kind of reminds me of a vest, except it's halter top with buttons. Um, so I don't, I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. I wanted to just place the order and add this in the cart to give it a shot. Um, but it is different enough that it is kind of like your accessory, so you can just throw on jeans to it. You could pair this with a drawstring pant. This is how the model has it paired, is with those drawstring pants. Um, but pretty interesting. It's semi-cropped. It does have like 
this halter that goes over your head, brown buttons down the middle. It is like a beige cream color and the back just looks like that straight across. So you can wear a bra with it as well. This one is a size two. And then lastly, I got this cropped sweater um, from there and I love it because it has like a super V plunging neckline. I am still wearing a bra with this one and so you can definitely still wear a bra with this. So if you wear high-waisted jeans, you could pair this with your high-waisted jeans jeans and you won't feel like you're showing too much long sleeves just like that super comfortable super great for like the autumn fall transition and this one I got in a size small and there are a ton of other colors that they make all right moving on to items that I got from ASOS I'm not sure what it is but ASOS has just came out with such good stuff and I'm gonna start off with these pink pants that look just like this they are a trouser pant and they have this like I don't know what you call this, like a pin tuck in the middle of each leg, just like that. So what I love about these pants is that it's a classic pant, but in a different color. So you're not gonna look like everybody else, you're gonna pretty much stand out. You could still wear basic tops with this. So it's easy to pair. This one I got in a size zero. It is a little bit long, so I'm going to have to hem it. It's supposed to hit you um, at your ankle or above your ankle, but this one, obviously, I'm 5'1", and so it's a little long, and I don't mind taking it to the tailor because once it is tailored, it's gonna look so cute. All right, next item is a pair of leather shorts. We are making our way into the autumn fall transition, so leather is always something that I reach for. Um, these are some paper bag um, faux leather shorts. I have been on the hunt for these, and so I feel like a lot of companies are coming out with these. Um, this one you can still wear with like over the knee boots or some tights underneath it if it gets a little too cold, but you could also still wear it now and it's just adorable, goes with a lot of stuff. This one I got in a size zero. All right, also from ASOS is another cropped off the shoulder top. Um, looks just like that. It's by the brand Fashion Union. If you type in Fashion Union on ASOS.com, it'll list everything from that brand and they have a lot of cute stuff all the time. The material of this is really, really nice and stretchy but still like thick enough that you feel comfortable and secure. The back just looks like this and you could wear a bra with it. I am wearing a bra with this top. So if you wanna know how I was able to wear a bra with this top, then go watch my how to wear a bra with tie front tops and I'll show you exactly how I did it. But this one I got in a size two and it fits me really nicely. I paired that top with these check pants that I love so much. These are like a super high-waisted um, black and white check pant. They have a built-in belt in it. They fit me perfectly. I got these in a size zero. These pants I wasn't sure about and then they came and I tried them on and they're just gorgeous. All right, next is another little crop top in a knit material. It's pretty basic, just like a V-neck with a little bit thicker straps. That's how long it is, so it's not too cropped. Um, can you tell I'm really into the knit stuff? And the reason why I really have been into the knit tops is because it is like, it's not a t-shirt material, you know what I mean? So it's a little more fancy, a little more dressy. You could wear them with a lot of different things in your closet, from skirts to mini skirts and trousers and things like that. Um, so that's why I've been liking them. This one I got in a size two. All right, here is like another autumn fall transition piece. This one is a mini skirt. Um, it's a check mini skirt with buttons down the middle. And in the check print, it has yellow and blue colored lines in them too. So I thought that was a nice little detail to add some pop of color in it. This one I got in a size zero as well, and it fits me perfectly. All right, next from ASOS are these boots. I really, really love them. They are so cute. They're a little bit different. Um, I'm pretty, I feel like I'm surprising you guys with this purchase, but I really like how they are different. They also come with these white shoelaces, which I guess you could interlace them, but I do like them. With the black, I probably won't use the white ones. I feel like they're pretty heavy duty type of combat boots with a heel, but they're also still really slender and flattering, but we'll see. I got these ones in a size seven. All right, this is another crop top that I felt was necessary to have in color black 
This one is a little more dressy. It is by Misguided. I did get it on ASOS. Um, but this one is great because if you don't want to wear a bodysuit and you are we wearing high-waisted jeans or pants or trousers, um, this is a really easy top to pair. You don't need to wear a bra with it. This one does not have adjustable straps, but it fits me perfectly. I got this one in a size zero. The back has a zipper closure just like that. All right, last but not least, from ASOS, I have been really liking a leopard lately. I feel like leopard is making a huge comeback this autumn and fall. I got these frill hem shorts, so the sides of the shorts kind of ruffle, or the hem of the shorts ruffle, and then it does have a tie waist, which I love because I'm all about those added details so that you're just not looking so basic. And then the waistband of the pants are stretchy. This one I got in the petite size. Um, it's by River Island. I got it on ASOS in a size zero. I feel like I could have done or gotten away with a size two as well. So if you're like me and your size like me, like a size zero usually and five one, um, for comfort purposes, I would probably size up. All right, last but not least, I placed an order from this Australian website, Mishka.com, and I found some really cute stuff. This company has really, really cute stuff all the time on their site. Um, I have been weary about ordering from them um, for a while just because I know their return policy is only for store credit, and you have to return your items within 14 days, so if you do plan on buying some items from there, be wary of that. But I did find some really classic cute stuff that I loved. This one is like a tube top with a fold over just like that. The length of it is pretty nice. The back of this top has a zipper, but it also has like your corset or bra clasps so that you know, since it is a tube top, they want you to feel super secure. And I like that about this top. I don't have anything like this. This one's super classic and it's cream or white color. And, and so I feel like I'm gonna have this one for a really, really long time in my closet. And on the site, they paired it with these white trousers that I just fell in love with that outfit. I wanted to recreate that outfit myself. But the only problem I found with these pants, which ended up not working, so I will have to return it for store credit, but I'm fine with that because they always have cute stuff. So I know I'm buying, bound to find something else. Is that they're really see-through in the back, like super see-through. I tucked the tube top into this pants, which is how they have it styled on their website, but obviously they don't show it. And another thing that I thought was weird that I couldn't tell with the webs are on the website was that the pockets are like all the way in the front. So they're not completely at the side of the pant, they're kind of in the front. So when I put my hands in the pockets, I kind of feel like I'm putting my hands in like a little pouch of mine. So I didn't really like that. Overall, the material of the pant and the color and everything, just like the design and the build of it is great. I wish that it didn't, or that it wasn't see-through, otherwise I would have kept it. It is long, I knew that I would have had to hem it anyway, so I was fine with that. And this one I got in size six, and the top that I just showed you guys was also in a size six. Um, but I did find this dress, which they had a bunch of these dresses in different lengths and different colors. I got this dress in like an olive one. It is another classic piece that I feel like you could wear forever. Um, it has that like cow neckline on me. It's kind of like a mini slash maxi dress. What I do like about it is that it has this little detail where you can kind of scrunch it up and tie a ribbon so it's almost kind of like adjustable the side of this dress has a zipper so you can get into it pretty easily the straps are adjustable this one i got in a size six as well which is equivalent in australia to like an extra small or a zero both sides of this dress have slits on it so that's another added detail that's really nice and then last but not least is this one shoulder mini dress in a white color, again, it has that fold over in the front and in the back. The side has a zipper closure, so you can get in and out of it really easily. I got this one in a size six. I'm not sure about this one. Let me know if I should return it. Um, I do love it on the model, just not really sure. I'm like 
50-50 on it. Alright you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. Don't forget, this video is part one of a part two haul. I didn't want it to be a super long haul. The next haul will go live next week and it'll feature items from Zara, Mango, and Revolve, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you made it this far and you liked seeing this video. Also hit the notification bell so you never miss out on videos like this one. If you want daily outfit inspirations, follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer, and I'll see you in my next video.